Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, epidemiologist, biostatistician, faculty member. And in this segment, what I will be going over is um, the Framingham Heart Study. Um, this is one of the longest um, studies that been that have been that has been going on uh, within the United States, and um, there are some critical um, variables that are um, that are nice to kind of uh, look over and learn with. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, what I'm going to make this video on is how to create a visual um, for one variable and then a um, bivariate visual. Uh, and the example that I'll use is cardiovascular disease. So let's uh, take a look. If you go into graphs and then chart builder, um, select OK here, and then you have a, a chart builder where you can um, determine what um, uh, what graph you want to create. Um, so this is a bar chart, and um, you can you can actually drag any. First of all, you go into bar, and then you can drag any sort of variable um, into the x-axis. Um, so what I'm going to do is enter sex here. Um, now, mind you, I said I'm going to use cardiovascular disease. So for the sake of demonstration, I actually replaced the x-axis with sex. However, um, let's um, put cardiovascular disease here. And then you have category one and category two. Um, so what you can do now is select um, OK. And I had an example already made. Um, however, I want to show you the creation. This is what um, your um, bar graph should look like um, once you're completed. However, um, when you have when you don't have these labeled and um, what you can do is double click in that area and what it will do is it'll go into edit mode and once it's in edit mode uh, you can go ahead and replace the label so this is zero is no we know that um, however um, people that are viewing your bar chart don't know that so it's important for you to uh, demarcate so let's replace this by yes and then the x-axis will be cardiovascular disease, this label. And the y-axis, um, you can write count or you can write frequency here. And there you have it. Um, uh, you can now select close, and then you can close the editing mode. And when you look again um, on your uh, figure, um, you'll find that you have created um, this uh, um, for the cardiovascular disease. Um, so this is univariate. Um, this is only cardiovascular disease. Now, um, if you wanted to create a um, bivariate, for instance, um, cardiovascular disease and smoking, one of the plots that's important to know about is the mosaic plot. It, it's beyond the scope of my talk. However, if you want to, you can explore this further. Um, so um, the visual that is expected um, uh, here is um, the two by two table. Um, so let's take a look at free, uh, frequencies and then descriptive. Actually, um, let's go back. So what you do is go into analyze and then uh, descriptive statistics. And then from descriptive statistics, what you do is go into cross tabs. And once you're in cross tabs, um, you take your, um, say you're trying to answer the question of what is the relationship between uh, current smoking and um, cardiovascular disease. 
um, well, this is when you um, place cardiovascular disease and current smoking into row and column. Actually, it doesn't matter um, how you place this. Um, uh, and depending on this, um, you actually create go into statistics um, and cells. That's where we want to go. Um, and then the percentages, um, wh what you want to do is um, instead of just observed, um, you want to also do percentages in column and then select continue and then select OK. And there you have it. You have the numbers, you have the percentages, um, and you can report both in a um, two by two table. Um, and this is your visual. Um, you can keep this as is. However, I would recommend you create um, a table from this um, uh, in addition to um, what's there. Um, however, you can um, actually provide this output as um, your visual. Um, so there you have it. Um, I've shown you um, within this lecture on how to um, create a um, univariate visual um, from cardiovascular disease and then a bivariate two by two table um, that you can illustrate your the um, percentages and the counts of um, each of the um, rows and columns. I hope this has um, provided you with some insight. Thank you for listening.